हॅलो गाईज आय एम डॉक्टर रवींद्र सावरकर अँड आय वेलकम यू बॅक टू मिड स्कूल टॉपिक फॉर दिस व्हिडिओ इज हायपोकॅल्शेमिया बिफोर अंडरस्टँडिंग हायपोकॅल्शेमिया वी शूड फर्स्ट नो दॅट देर आर टू फ्रॅक्शन्स ऑफ सिरम कॅल्शियम वन इज प्रोटीन बाउंड वेअर प्रोटीन इज मोस्टली अल्ब्युमिन अँड सेकंड इज आयोनिक फॉर्म हायपोकॅल्शेमिया इज डिफाइंड ॲज सिरम कॅल्शियम लेस दॅन एट पॉईंट एट मिलीग्राम पर डेसिलिटर ऑर टू पॉईंट टू मिलीमोल पर लिटर इन ॲबसेन्स ऑफ हायपोप्रोटिनिमिया ऑर आयोनिक कॅल्शियम लेवल लेस दॅन फोर पॉईंट फोर मिलीग्राम पर डेसिलिटर ऑर वन पॉईंट वन सेवन मिलीमोल पर लिटर लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टँड कॅल्शियम मेटाबोलिझम वेन कॅल्शियम लेवल फॉल्स इट इंड्युसेस पॅराथायरॉइड हार्मोन रिलीज फ्रॉम पॅराथायरॉइड ग्लॅन्ड which increases absorption of calcium through intestine increases bone resorption and mobilizes calcium from bones to blood and decreases excretion of calcium through kidneys all these processes leads to increase in calcium level when serum calcium level rises this induces secretion of calcitonin from thyroid gland calcitonin causes decrease absorption of calcium through intestine increase deposition of calcium into bones and increase excretion of calcium through kidneys all these processes leads to fall in serum calcium level there is one more player in calcium metabolism which is vitamin d as we saw pth works only toward increasing calcium level and calcitonin works only toward decreasing calcium level whereas vitamin d causes increase absorption of calcium through intestine decrease excretion of calcium through kidneys and enhance this calcium deposition into bones so hypocalcemia is caused by impaired calcium absorption through intestine in diseases like inflammatory bowel disease celiac disease small intestinal bacterial overgrowth surgical resection of small intestine etc hypocalcemia is also present in renal diseases like acute kidney injury chronic renal failure and alpha 1 hydroxylase deficiency interestingly in all these disorders hypocalcemia is not related to increased calcium excretion through kidneys but kidneys are unable to convert vitamin d into active form that is 125 hydroxy vitamin d3 hypocalcemia due to increased renal excretion occurs with use of loop diuretics osmotic diuresis and hypomagnesemia Vitamin D deficiency or resistance to vitamin D action on target tissue can lead to hypocalcemia. Hypoparathyroidism, surgical removal of parathyroid glands or damage to parathyroid glands by radiation to neck leads to low pH level and causes hypocalcemia. In pseudo hypoparathyroidism, pH levels are high, but there is resistance to pH action on target tissues. so hypocalcemia occurs despite high pd level of pth high calcitonin level can also lead to hypocalcemia other causes of hypocalcemia are hyperphosphatemia which causes calcium to deposit alkalosis which decreases ionic calcium pancreatitis where calcium is deposited due to fat saponification rhabdomyolysis which leads to hyperphosphatemia and hypocalcemia mechanism of hypocalcemia in gram negative sepsis and covid-19 is unknown symptoms of acute hypocalcemia can be neuromuscular neuronal and cardiovascular neuromuscular symptoms include numbness and tingling sensation muscle cramps wheezing due to bronchospasm dysphagia due to esophageal spasm voice changes due to laryngospasm etc Neuronal symptoms include irritability, fatigue, seizures, involuntary movements, etc. Cardiovascular symptoms include syncope, heart failure, angina, etc. Symptoms of chronic hypocalcemia are coarse hair, brittle nails, dry skin, chronic pruritus, poor dentition and cataract. As with other electrolyte abnormality History is the most important factor to uncover underlying cause. Other tests to be conducted are serum calcium total and ionic, serum protein specially albumin, serum parathyroid hormone level, serum vitamin D3 level, 
ECG may show QT prolongation. Treatment of hypocalcemia depends on severity, duration and underlying disease. If hypocalcemia is acute with mild symptoms like tingling and paresthesia etc., patient should be worked up for underlying cause. An oral calcium supplement 1 to 3 gram per day should be started. In severe acute hypocalcemia, IV correction is required. Correction is given as 100 to 300 mg of elemental calcium in 100 ml of 5% dextrose over 5 to 10 minutes. This will increase ionic calcium by 0.5 to 1.5 mmol per liter. IV calcium is available as calcium gluconate which contains 90 mg of elemental calcium per 10 ml and calcium chloride which contains 272 mg of elemental calcium per 10 ml. Once calcium is corrected, oral calcium and vitamin D supplement should be started and patient should be worked up for underlying cause of hypocalcemia. Treatment of chronic hypocalcemia depends on underlying cause. In these cases, underlying cause is usually hypoparathyroidism. First line treatment is oral calcium supplement. Thiazide diuretics can be added due to its hypercalcemic effect. Vitamin D should be added in active form that is 125 hydroxyvitamin D3 which is also known as calcitriol as conversion to active form in body is impaired due to PTH deficiency. Recombinant human PTH can be used in patient not responding to about treatment. Goals of treatment in chronic hypocalcemia are relief of symptoms, Maintenance of serum calcium in lower normal range that is 8 to 8.5 mg per deciliter and avoidance of hypercalciuria. Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you have any query or suggestion, please write it down in comment section. If you like my work, please like this video and share it with your friends. To get notified about next video upload, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Till next video, take care and keep learning.